Is that a Triceratops? I don't know. Yeah, I know. Whoa. Is it a big one? That is so cool. About two and a half years ago, I was taking a multivitamin from Garden of Life kind of occasionally. Um, my mother-in-law helped me uh, to figure out which brand would be non-synthetic and I kind of was starting the journey with vitamins. Um, but I wasn't real consistent and kind of just haphazard about it. And I, two and a half years ago, started having some crashes when I do big events my body would just shut down my muscles would spasm and so my mother-in-law mother-in-law uh, Benny came over and she just brought a bunch of vitamins she's a vitamin freak and um, she's like take this take this take this and so I started taking a bunch of different raw natural vitamins and noticed a major difference even like one week two weeks out just being really consistent with it so I started doing my research and homework and I ended up getting my blood drawn and sending it to a specialist who reads your blood and tells you basically where you're deficient. And I got the results back and it was really incredible because I was having massive stomach problems with digestion and I was having a hard time sleeping at night. I just always have dealt with those two things, um, really low energy and I take a thyroid medicine because I do have like low thyroid, but that's about all I knew health wise. Otherwise I just felt tired and um, had a hard time sleeping, but I got my results back and the amount of stuff I was deficient in was a pretty long list, especially magnesium, um, vitamin B, vitamin D, which the doctor said basically because we work indoors as a humanity that almost every person on the planet is deficient in vitamin B and vitamin D. But um, I started taking the regimen of natural raw vitamins for what I was deficient in really regular. I bought this super old lady granny pack that I carry with me day in and day out to keep me in routine. And um, I just started being religious with it. And it's a lot of vitamins. Like it's um, a lot in the morning and a lot in the evening, but the difference that it made, it changed my stomach completely, my digestion, my sleep. Um, it just changed everything. And it wasn't like a pyramid scheme, vitamin buy-in, weird thing. Um, it was just stuff that you could get at the health food store down the road. So I really love that. Um, so I've, I've been learning more and gaining, and I'm sure there's a million great companies out there. I'm not like brand promoting, but I am saying get raw vitamins guarantee you need it even if you don't do a blood draw even if you just start with a multi I've been using Garden of Life um, now for about two and a half years there's men's vitamins women's kids um, they even have like, the little gummy ones but I've heard that they've been bought out by Nestle and maybe changing their formula so I haven't taken the time to like A and B they're old and new so I've actually switched to a company that my nutritionalist has recommended. That's another raw vitamin company called Nature Sunshine. And now I'm switching all of my Garden of Life over to Nature Sunshine. Um, but I have felt incredible the past couple of years being on this new routine, just taking them every day, um, omegas, all, all kinds of them. But then I just did, Brian and I both just did our blood again a couple weeks ago with a doctor in Spain who my mother-in-law worked with in her cancer treatment, she's cancer free now, and our other friend who has worked with the same doctor and is cancer free now, and our other friends are actually at the treatment center right now. So um, we sent our blood work to him and um, Brian has never done his blood work before in depth, so his showed a lot of work that he had to do, kind of like me in the beginning. He had a lot of work and I actually only needed to add three supplements into my already pretty big list um, but being organized and having a system for taking them is really the biggest thing that you can do to
to keep yourself in a good flow of it. I think having this stupid, I just ordered a cute new vitamin organizer. It's not here yet, but for Brian and I both. Um, but you just have to take that, that stupid move and just do whatever it takes so that you are taking them in a good schedule. But um, if you can get your blood drawn and do a lengthy panel, not just like what the doctor's gonna give you, like the doctor literally read my, pan read my blood and said I was a little low in vitamin B and D. And I, that's when I took it from a medical doctor, which I love the medical community, but that's when I took it from the medical doctor to a specialist for blood when I found out the lengthy list and it really fixed me. So I'm really excited. I feel incredible right now and adding these next, these little three things that um, I've just started these past two weeks, I've, I've felt great. So for Brian, um, it's been amazing because his showed that he needed to eat less, less red meat, um, which is very true. No, he eats a lot of lean deer meat and um, more fish. And for me, it actually said in my blood report, I need to be off my feet more, which if you know me, I'm on my feet a lot. And I've been on my feet a lot, mainly because I've dealt with um, piriformis syndrome. I dealt with for about seven or eight years, so sitting really hurt and was really uncomfortable, laying down really uncomfortable. Um, so I just stayed on my feet. But in my blood results, this guy who doesn't even know me, it showed that I'm on my feet too much. So I've been working with a physical therapist who I call my angel because she came up to me and she said, I saw your post online about your back problem and, or my friend did and, and showed me and I'm a specialist and I, I'm pretty sure I can treat you. And she's been working with me for the past three months and I've tried physical therapy and you name it, I've pretty much tried it and I've just gotten no res relief. But this lady working with her with the special treatment that she does um, with a lot of stretching, um, sitting differently, all these different things, I'm like 90 to 95% better and I'm seeing it get better as weeks go by so it's been really incredible to where like I feel amazing and my body's really responding and I think a lot of the supplements that I'm taking have to do I don't think I know have to do with mu muscle elasticity and there's definitely a connection with what I'm taking supplement wise and my physical therapy treatment kind of now meeting in the middle to where I feel the best I've felt since I was really young so that's, that's incredible. But um, if you're out there and you're watching this and you're like, okay, I want to start this journey, but I can't get my blood drawn yet, or you know, figure out, figure out a way that you can find a specialist, if at all possible. Um, and I'll try to post the information on here for the, the doctor that I used, uh, if you're able to do it. But I would highly recommend going on Nature Sun Sunshine and the one we're taking um, this one right here this is a super supplemental so this is a multivitamin and I, I switched from Garden of Life multivitamins to this multivitamins um, just because of the brand continuity and I'm trying this out but if you're gonna use this one just check to see if they haven't changed the formula but um, start with this one at breakfast one at lunch just start with this and see how you feel I guarantee you, you're probably low in vitamin B and vitamin D because again, everyone are. So if you still have low energy after that, then um, just a regular vitamin B, vitamin D supplement, I recommend the uh, Nature Sunshine would be great. Um, my kids also take vitamins. They have since they were really little. And when they're tiny, I just give them the little chewy kind. I try to get the ones that have fruit and don't have sugar added to them. Always organic. Um, and when they're really tiny, I give them these. And then for my older kids, I give them, when they're sick, this wellness formula is amazing. And you can get it at most, most health food stores. The Nature Sunshine is, I think, only online. I've never seen it in the store, but um, maybe it is. But this is awesome. If your kids are starting to, to get a little cold or allergies, it's hard to know if it's allergies or cold. Um, these are really, really great. But on a, on a weekly basis, have them just take boys can take the men's multivitamin one of those and then the girls do a women's multivitamin so that's that's really helped um so yeah i just encourage you to find out you know what you need get your blood tested if at all possible and until you can get that done start taking a multivitamin if you're low on energy vitamin b if you're having a hard time sleeping magnesium and just really follow your health path i think that for me, 
the amount of energy I have, I feel like I got my life back. And I feel like I went from feeling like 50 years old to 25 again. I'm right in the middle. But I've, I've just, it changed my life to really take my health seriously. And I watch what I eat. I think it's important that, you know, I'm, I'm not sugar free, I'm not gluten free. I eat gluten, I eat sugar sometimes. But I really try to make sure that what's in my diet the most is healthy proteins, vegetables, and fruits, and a little bit of carbs, which sugar are carbs. So that's kind of how I do my diet. I, I think, you, you know, my mom taught me really beautifully when I was younger, she loved a Butterfinger candy bar, and she kept it in her cupboard, and she took one bite a day, because she loved it. Um, and just watching moderation and health, we had lots of fresh vegetables and fruit and meat, and I just grew up with a healthy mentality. And some people are in the fads of um, no meat or no whatever. And some blood types, know your blood type. Some blood types, you actually need meat. And some blood types, meat's really bad for you. So it's really important to, to know your body, know what you need, and just go on that journey for health. Not, not for weight or weight loss. Get the weight out of, we want health. Health is what we're going for emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And I think taking your attention toward your physical health actually makes a massive difference in your emotional health. You can't separate them. So a lot of times people are depressed or have a lot of symptoms of things when their physical health isn't where it needs to be. And I can't tell you how much just getting out and going for a walk 30 minutes, 20 minutes if you can, just get outside and go for a walk. And it ups your endorphins, it makes you feel healthier and happier. So I think a lot of emotional problems in a big way um, aren't getting better because they're directly connected to taking your health seriously. So take your health seriously.